Hello viewers, welcome to today's edition of Extra Mile. What a joy to be back on air with you in this brand new year. We know that God has destined to bless you. Listen, my friend, whatever has been your past is not enough to determine your future. God does not consult your past in determining where you are going to end. So I need you to know that this is a brand new year full of brand new opportunities. So you've got to have a brand new faith a brand new aspiration, a brand new expectation as you pursue God's ultimate plan for you. The promises of scriptures are very clear. Better is the end of a thing than your beginning thereof. It's God's assurance to you to understand that what is ahead of you is better than what is behind. And that is why we began this year on the series with title Success is Predictable. The only intent of this series is to help you to see those vital success factors that make a difference in people's life. I began last week by establishing the first factor, which is the need to establish a relationship with the Lord. Establishing a relationship with the Lord makes all the difference because God's commitment to you is as good as you are willing to be committed to Him. While God is willing to be a blessing, He does not force Himself on any person. So we are the one that ultimately determines the level of our relationship with Him. The second point I like to emphasize is the need for you to learn to hear the voice of God. To hear the voice of God. In our operational test for this series, which is Genesis chapter 26, from verse 1 to 13, where Abraham, Isaac experienced famine in the land, and like with most other people, the first thought that came to him, especially as his father did the same, was to elope out of the land, was to emigrate to a better climb, a better country, which sometimes may be God's choice, but the important thing is for us to be clear as to what God is saying part time concerning each and every one of us. Because that people travel and prosper doesn't mean it's going to be the same with you. Specifically, thank God for an Isaac who was careful to ask the Lord and to hear what the, vo the voice of the Lord was saying. Here's what God said to him. And the Lord said to him, go not down into Egypt. That was the voice of God to Isaac. And so, and God said to him, stay in this land. It's important, my friend, that we do not just learn to move with the crowd, to move with the shifting sands and phases uh, according to how people move at, in, in, in the pursuit of the proverbial golden phrase. It's important to know where God wants you to be. Because the Bible says, as a bear that wandered from his nest, so is a man that liveth his place. When you learn to stay where God is, where God wants you to stay, that is where God is going to prosper you. For instance, in the book of Isaiah, there is this interesting scripture I'd like to read to you. In Isaiah chapter 50, from verse 4 to 7, the Bible says, The Lord God had given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. How? Because he wakened morning by morning. He wakened my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord God had opened my ear, verse 5 of the same Isaiah chapter 50 says, And I was not rebellious, neither turned away my back. God is willing to bring a fresh voice, a fresh counsel to you every morning. That is why Romans chapter 8 verse 14 says, As many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. How will that happen? In Romans 8, 16, the Bible says, The Spirit of God beareth witness with your spirit. It's a spirit-to-spirit -spirit communication. As you establish your relationship with the Lord, one vital success factor that will make a defining difference in, in your experience and your pursuit of success this year is to learn to hear the voice of the Lord. Because God's voice will always lead you to where His will will sustain you and the doors will be open to you. Stay tuned. I'll be back.